Today has been a day that has been cold. You know what? It's still February, and cold still is part of the equation. Thing is, as we are looking through our eight day, this is the coldest that we're going to have to see for a while. There's your Max Track Live Doppler, and we are looking here at you know, 10 after 5, and it is a quiet, clear picture. Nothing falling out of the sky. So, starting tomorrow, we get a break from the cold. This weekend, we start opening up the spigot, especially in southeastern Kentucky. Your eight day forecast we're staying on the mild half of what is going to be a divided nation. To the north, it is going to be cold. For us, it looks like we may be on the good side of that front. We'll talk about a lot coming up. When we're talking the temperatures, it is running mid 30s. So, again, you see the cold that is out there. 36 Mount Sterling and Moorhead. Jackson's at 39. Near 30 up there in Covington, where they had a lot more ice to contend with. The 40s are sneaking into the south. Monticello, Williamsburg, and London all in that 40 degree realm, as is Harlan. 36 at the Bluegrass Airport. We have a wind chill of 30 thanks to a south wind at 8. That's the warmer direction. Good with that. So, again, you are looking out from space now. Actually, we're looking down from space. And with that, you see clouds streaming by to the north. You can also see the snow on the ground, the stuff that doesn't move at the kind of the periphery of the cloud cover. That is a developing storm that, for us, is going to be a rainmaker for folks up in the Midwest. It is going to be a dandy of a snowmaker. That's another Arctic high. We've been seeing a series of these coming down, and these have been nasty cold. Thing is, there has not been a drive to push them to us. They've been kind of scraping by. We've got another high pressure sitting here over the Carolinas. With it, our winds are turning more southerly as it departs off to the east, and low pressure moves then up into Illinois. There are your southerly winds tomorrow. There is the beginnings of your warm-up. There is the snow that could bring a foot or more from Chicago to Detroit, maybe Toledo and Cleveland. There's wave number one that goes by. For us, again, we stay on the good side. Warmth coming in from the south. We roll our way into tomorrow late in the day. Well, the front is beginning to stall out just to our north, but you notice there's rain beginning to work its way northbound by Saturday morning. So even though we'll be on the warm side, we'll also be coming on the wetter side with time. Secondary wave will be making its approach Saturday night into Sunday. More snow up to our north, but for us, we will stay on the rainy side of that. We are looking at weekend rain potential, and there could be quite a bit of it as we look across southeastern parts of Kentucky, and we're talking about rainfall amounts that could easily go over an inch, and for some folks, maybe going over a couple of inches by the time this is all done. We'll keep an eye on that. Tonight on LAX 18, you will see the beginnings of the Olympics, the opening ceremonies, though. Those will take place, I believe, tomorrow. Here are the temperatures for the opening ceremonies. From the Olympic Stadium in Pyeongchang, again, you see temperatures there, 20s and 30s. Looking for something to do this evening, and you're in Bath County. How about head over to Owingsville and go to a Skywarn spotter class? It's absolutely free at the health department in Bath County. Partly cloudy, normal February cold. We dropped to the 20s. Partly sunny, breezy. That's the important word. Milder. Mid 50s tomorrow. Ah, uh, Saturday and Sunday. We do stay mild, but we also get wet. Temperatures will stay around 50 in Lincoln's birthday. Maybe another shower around. Hmm. Hmm. All day rains? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's not acceptable. Watch the Olympics right here on LAX 18. I can do that. Thanks, Phil. All right.